Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Iron back with another video and today we're going to take a look at some important changes that will be coming in the Dreamer update. So, they actually improved quite a lot of stuff before they patch it to the official server over here. So now I'm currently still in the test server, right? Let me start off with the Soul Yena skill over here, everybody. So they actually buff this skill over here. Um, the EXP, its passive is 50% increase at level 30. But they actually buff it to 100% over here. And they also buff the damage over there for the Twilight and the Dawn skill over there as well. We're going to take a look at this skill over here in depth later on when I start to mob over there. Don't worry, right? So now, next stuff. Important stuff over here, everybody. Uh, the Union Artifact. It's very difficult to want you to do. Okay, there we go. Union Artifact over here. So Union Artifact, a lot of players actually uh, can't grasp like Will, when monster life is being deleted, will that be compensated for the levels over here? Yes, you will be compensated over that. Alright, so the higher your monster life level, the higher level your union artifact is going to be starting at, right? So for more information, check out Max plot over here, where Max actually translated the patch. You can exchange 20 accumulated EXP in monster life farm for one artifact EXP. Okay, so uh in a sense uh i'm just i'm just putting my numbers over here i didn't do the actual calculation basically at level 40 farm you probably were able to get like level 16 union artifacts so you won't be starting from zero over here just to let you guys know and they also mentioned that uh progressing through over here will be much much faster all right if you have most of life uh done okay so yeah you don't lose out don't worry okay so that's the unit artifact and also unit artifact one more thing is that when you guys are prepping for it and if the patch right is one day before the reset do not boss because if you boss they are going to reset it okay uh it might not reset it will not count <laughs> Because the Union Artifact is not even in-game yet. So you need to wait for the patch first. Then only you boss. Then only the... Then it, only, it will only count. Okay, do take note, yeah? So yeah. So normally for overseas servers, you guys will get the... Yeah, because it resets on uh, Thursday anyways, right? So patch is on Wednesday, unless it's delayed. So yeah, that's basically it for the Union Artifact. Wait for the patch first, then only you boss. Get all this over here. Alright, if not, you're gonna miss this out, okay? So that's on the first day of the patch only, just to take note, okay? Alright, so that's for the Union Artifact over there. And there is also a... Uh, what else is over here? Let's go look at patch note. Terra Blink over here. Terra Blink is a brand new event for 0 to 200. And now it's 0 to 100, right? Now it's 0 to 200 over here. So um, they actually first mentioned that 0 characters cannot participate in this event. Now they mentioned that you actually can participate as a 0 right now. Of course, you need to complete chapter 2 over there. Alright, so um, there's a Burning Wall event over here, right? There are some items that you can actually... Uh, you can actually not leap over, okay? You can actually not pre-leap over if you have all these items over here. They actually restrict it if you pre-leap. Because now, in Burning World, you can actually leap much earlier before the World Leap event that starts, okay? Some interesting stuff. Ah, now, okay. The important stuff over here. Six drop common core over here. EXP has been increased to, from 50 to 100% at level 30. Okay, insane. Okay, so after reviewing various options about the common call that's sent by Maplers after the test pair update, this one, this is the one, we, we decided to uh, improve on the following areas. Improve on the value of itself, improve on the growth, improve on the reinforcement itself. Uh, for this purpose, the amount of additional EXP gain at level 30 uh, has been increased from 50 to 100%. Okay, so the increase of each level has also been adjusted. Basically, it's double. So Yanus, right, Dawn skill uh, has been increased slightly on the damage and also for the Twilight skill, the trigger cycle is short. So taking in this consideration, the amount of HP consumed has been adjusted over that. Okay, so the Dawn skill right now is 630%. That increases to 690% over here. Yes, at level 30. It's much lower Um, just to, for you to compare, right? So this is the... Earth Fountain over here. It's 900 percent damage, right? This is the Dawn skill over here. The Soul Yanus Dawn skill over here. It's 630%. Though they are gonna increase it all the way up to 
690% over there. It lasts for 120 seconds, cooldown 60 seconds over here. Alright, so at level 30, it lasts for 120. Level 1, it lasts for like 60 seconds only, okay? And it consumes 10% HP for using this skill over here. Now, I want to switch it out to a Twilight skill over here, right? This is the Twilight skill. So currently, the Twilight... Let me read the patch notes over here, right? So currently, the Twilight skill uh, at level 30, right, is 945% damage over here. They're going to increase it to 1,035% damage, okay? And the activation over there is... Currently, is 5% HP, every activation, right? You can see. And then you activate, you minus 5% HP. So it actually takes a huge tax on your HP over here, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you have a 3 seconds cooldown. Imagine every 3 seconds you got a minus 5% HP, like what the hell. So, they actually reduced this from 5% to 1% HP over there. Right, so that's basically it for uh, the changes over there. Okay, now, let me get into mobbing at over here to actually show you how good is the skill. I mean... I did show it over here, Neo recorded it, but I haven't really shown it at level 30 over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my uh, Earth Fountain over here. I'm gonna put in the Dawn skill over here. Alright. Yes, you can jump and use that skill. So, how it works is that, you see, I'm gonna use the capture mode. Hopefully, I don't get lie detector. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So you, you basically don't need to worry about the top mobs. You just need to worry about the bottom mobs over here. This is a very huge map, to be honest. Uh, not many people can actually grind in this map comfortably. But yeah, you can do a very nice rotation over here if you want to grind, right? So still okay. But with this new common core over here... Oh, oh, oh we, got a, we got a new rune, everybody. Hell yeah, let me show you that. Hell yeah. So yeah. Uh... <laughs> I've used the NPC over here. I haven't used this room before. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. This is the enlarged room over here. Oh. Oh, I mean... Oh, yeah. I forgot. You can actually jump. Oh, you guys are lucky. I got this room over here. This is a brand new room, everybody. <laughs> the improved room over there. Ah. The giant room. Can I use skills? Oh, you cannot. Okay. You still cannot use skills. Okay. Use the attack. Okay. Nice. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay, this is my first time using that skill as well. So yeah, this is the Dawn skill over here. As you can see, it clears the entire map. Legitly. It just clears the entire map over here. Which is actually pretty damn good. Alright, so you can recast your fountain over here. Yeah, 120 seconds at level 30 over there. Okay, now... Let me swap uh, this skill over here to the Twilight skill. You can see a pretty huge difference over here. This is for huge maps, right? If I were to swap it to Twilight over here, of course, it will be gone. I can use... Okay, I'm just gonna use... Uh, Flash over here, right? So, yeah. There we go. Let the skill do the work and see how far it can actually go. Yeah, see? Yeah, that is the Twilight skill. The Twilight skill is actually not that bad at all, as you can see. It actually can clear the entire map. I'm not using any other skills except for this one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. Look, look. It clears the entire map. Wow. So, the Twilight skill is actually not bad as well. So, depending on your playstyle, whichever skill you want to use, the Twilight does a significant amount of more damage compared to the uh, Dawn skill over there. Of course, the Dawn skill will cover more grounds and it summons three of them. But of course, at level one, it doesn't summon three. Yeah, do take note. At level one, it summons one. Uh, at level 20, it summons two. At level 30, it summons three. Or at level 10, it summons two. I forgot already. Yeah, some, something along the line over there. So as you level it up, you get more... Uh, more balls over there. Yeah, you can also cast it when you are in the air. Place it anywhere you want. It, it hits it hits a lot of platforms. Yeah, a minimum three platforms over there, as you can see. Uh, super, super amazing skill. Look at that. 
<laughs> it is actually super amazing. Although the damage is actually pretty damn low for a level 30 skill is only at 630%, but three of them spawning over here, it, it, it's actually pretty damn good as you can see. Yeah, two hits, it clears the entire map already. All you need to do is just go and loot the stuff. It's basically an AFK farming map. Pretty sure that level 300 maps and above will be like super big and huge if they introduce uh, that. Yeah, because this skill is super OP. All right, so that's basically it for the changes and improvements that will be coming. Uh, as always, this is still in test server and that's why a lot of things are not set in stone yet. But once they release the official notes over here, these are actually set in stone already for the official server. So yeah, two days more for the patch. Really looking forward to it for the Union Artifact as well as the Common Core over here. Yeah, Common Core will be here. Woo! The Sword of Fragments over here. My man, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy crazy damn all right so that's basically it for this video thank you very much for tuning in hope you get some insights on the brand new soul yana skill over here and also the union artifact or call it the legion artifact over here everybody all right hope you guys clear off most of the questions and as always thank you very much for tuning in leave a thumbs up subscribe stay awesome everybody stay safe Bye bye